Uh, Saxton, stop dancing. I can't help it. It's like my hips and my hands have a mind of their own. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by their special counsel, Paul Heyman, from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! Not only an all-time great, but the father of Jimmy and Jey Uso, the real person responsible for their tag team prowess, Saxton. And their dance moves, too. Hey, guys, you think Rikishi would give me a dance lesson? Absolutely not, Saxton. With any luck, you'll get a stink face. No, no. Rikishi wouldn't do that to me. The thing about Rikishi, guys, is he loves to have fun, right? But he's all business when the bell rings. That's the best part. Once the music stops, Rikishi, one of the most threatening superstars in all of WWE. It's HBK! And his opponent from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the WCW United States Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a reason that this man's nickname is Mr. WrestleMania, one of the greatest performers in the history of WWE. After missing nearly four years with a severe back injury, some doubted we would ever see Michaels in WWE again. Yeah, here's the thing, Corey. After returning, some say Shawn Michaels is better now than he's ever been. Certainly a hard point to argue. One of the greatest of all time, Mr. WrestleMania. Kishi, really a unique member of the Alaii dynasty from where I'm sitting. You got a better seat than most, Cole. Rikishi does possess the power and passion of his family, but he also really likes having a good time. He'll squash you like a pancake, but throw the shades on and dance afterward. I'm just glad I never got a stink face personally. And he will be facing a true legend in this industry, the one and only Shawn Michaels. The platonic ideal of skill and athleticism, not to mention just innate skill. It seems simple to say Michaels is just better than most people. Not that you can't surprise him, but honestly, that's what your strategy really comes down to. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Crossbody wipes them out. Off into the pin. Showing his determination there with that kick out. A club with a right forearm. Shawn Michaels' offense comprises of so many forms of attack. Corey, is there a way for his opponent tonight to contain an offensive onslaught that will come from all directions? Look no further than the source of Shawn's first retirement. Target is surgically repaired back. Attack it, and it may keep Michaels at bay. from the Heartbreak Kid to execute that maneuver. That's what we mean when we say Shawn Michaels is just better at this than most people. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Uh, Attack to the midsection. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Shawn Michaels has taken command. Yeah, Rikishi's on the wrong side of every exchange. And that might be the momentum swing Rikishi needed. Could be the exact U-turn Rikishi needed in this match. Oh, he slammed his face 
straight into the barricade. And that might have surprised Michaels a bit. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. From behind. And the suplex. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Michaels with the exclamation point. Two count. Shawn Michaels wins. Shawn Michaels wins. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. I'll hang my hat on the win of that caliber any day of the week. This is one to be proud of.